What's up, everybody? We're today we're here at Charleston Auto Sales. Dot com. We're going to be taking a look at, you got it, the 2017 Subaru BRZ Limited. This one here is pretty well equipped. I mean, if you're looking for one that's fully loaded with a lot of great features, oh boy, this is it right here. I'm really liking the yellow. And uh, folks, y'all have asked on my YouTube channel to start seeing some different vehicles other than Fords and Chevys and Volkswagens. So, hey, I figured why not stop by this great Subaru store right up the road from my house and start checking out some cool Subies. So that's what we're doing. So definitely hit that like button today if you're enjoying seeing something a little different. So the BRZ, right? Toyota also makes this car that looks pretty much identical but has a different, uh, you know, name. But I think, it, and I'm not exactly sure, I kind of forgot what Toyota's name was on it. This is BRZ, I think theirs is like FRZ, I don't know, something like that. But anyways, very clean car, I mean a little a little dirty, could use a wash right now. I mean we are sitting under a tree, it rains every single day of the week. But uh, for the most part, the yellow definitely is bright, stands out. I, believe it or not, actually had a Ford Probe GT back in the like mid, early 2000s. And... Uh, I, I shaved the door handles on it and really decked it out, put a body kit on it, and I painted it yellow. But I actually, the yellow that I painted my car was off of a Type R Integra. I took that paint code to the PPG store and had them give me that. But anyways, great looking color. You got the red Brembo brakes back there, pretty big, good looking wheels. 17 inch rims with a 215 45 series tire, so not bad. Looks like it's lowered down a little bit, right? I don't know if that's factory or not, but actually after I think about it, the back has definitely got some wheel well gap. So maybe it's just the way the car's sitting, but uh, it definitely looks like it's been dropped down. Interesting enough, you got Brembo's in the rear as well. You know, some car brands only give you Brembo's in the front since it's a front wheel drive car, and then you get the other ones in the rear. Now, that's another thing, folks. I'm a little, I'm a little uh, dusty right now on some of my uh, knowledge on this car. So I always ask for y'all to help us out in the comment section. Is the BRZ front wheel drive or is it rear wheel drive? Because most Subarus, what do they come with? Symmetrical all wheel drive. I got a feeling this is a front wheel drive car, considering the big brakes in the front. Got the dual exhaust. I'm liking that little spoiler, kind of cute, right? And it's got that little boom, little yellow there, the dark tinted windows. It's looking pretty nice. Well, it is unlocked. That's another thing that's nice about this dealership out here is that pretty much every car out on the lot is unlocked. So you can just drive in, pull up, and go look at them when they're open. I like how Subaru's added in the yellow on the inside. Got the carbon fiber look going on. Got this here. Then a really sporty seat with, with a... a, a um, I thought that was leather, but that's actually a yellow suede. The BRZ stitching and suede here and leather here. That's a really nice seat in this car. You know, if you wanted to go out and buy some Recaros or Sparco racing seats that are adjustable, you're going to spend a pretty penny on getting racing seats. I know. I bought a set of red Sparcos used one time and paid almost $1,000 for both seats. And they didn't even recline. I think I got screwed on that deal. But anyways, you got the stitching here in yellow. It is a manual transmission, which is nice. So you got a six-speed handshaker going on in there. Also got a nice big screen inside the car. Again, a 2017. I don't know the exact mileage on this one, but I can assume it's probably average mileage for a 2017. So anyways, that's the 2017 BRZ. Looks like it has a Carfax report in here, which is nice to see. 2.0 liter, there you go. Um, what else has it got? Well, no accidents, one owner, very nice. And it looks like mileage, I'm looking. Glass report odometer reading was 7,300 miles. Could have a little more, but anyways. Check them out, folks, online. I appreciate them letting me stop by today to review some of their cars. Again, it's charlestonautosales.com. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.